Seabirds are really important on the ocean. Even small ones like this seabird um, consume a lot of marine productivity. And collectively, seabirds around the world consume some 70 million tons of food out of the ocean. So ashy storm petrels have a relatively small breeding population. And with only about 5,000 pairs in the world, that small population size and the fact that it's restricted really to only about three to five islands um, makes them really sensitive to changing conditions. So the fact that they're rare puts them at risk of extinction. And then on top of that, on the islands that they do breed on, um, they face predation both by native predators and by non-native predators. I mean, there's a lot of predation from burrowing owls as a result of the introduced mice. So that's a big problem on the Farallons. And then you also have problems with introduced rats um, and other introduced species on many, some of the other breeding islands. There's also, um, say, threats from um, light pollution. So these ashy storm petrels, they come and go from their breeding grounds at night um, to avoid, trying to avoid the avian predators that are around. And um, they, um, many nocturnally active seabirds are um, vulnerable to light pollution. So boats, you know, squid, light, squid boats, squid fishing boats use incredibly bright lights and they fish around the ashy storm petrel breeding colonies and those bright red lights attract storm petrels and the birds will circle the lights and get exhausted and land on deck where they can get injured or killed. You know, the ashy storm petrels are rare and they're special. They don't nest you know, many places. They only nest on a handful of islands in California. Like rats are everywhere and they're everywhere because people brought them everywhere. And when they are brought out to an island, they cause extinction, can cause extirpations or extinctions of rare, magnificent, wonderful, you know, plants and animals that, you know, have a right to exist in the world. And so because we brought the rats there and the rats are decimating, these plants and animals that have nowhere else to go, then I think humans have a responsibility to remove them. The house mouse eradication at the Farallon Islands to benefit ashy storm petrels, also um, trying to look at eradicating rats on San Miguel Island. The artificial nest habitat and the, and the invasive species, species eradications are very successful for ashy storm petrels. So getting a series of like, of, you know, monitoring protocol methods that we can all agree on and then repeating those every five to 10 years and kind of choosing priority places where we're going to do the monitoring. And that has been like, I think widely recognized as one of the big needs is getting a better, um, a better estimate of population trends over time.